Hello Christian sisters, this is Sister Debbie from Don'tPerish.com. I want to read you a scripture verse. Luke 9, 62. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Now I just did a post on the sisters blog the other day about this particular verse because we had somebody reach back into our life, a little bit of communication from them, and it wasn't necessarily good, and it made me really sad. But I immediately thought of this, vo this verse, and I thought, you know, Deb, you've got to put your hand to the plow and look forward because you are not fit for the kingdom of God if you keep looking backwards into this or allowing people to drag you back by memories and then your emotions get involved. And... We women have to be very careful about this because we are more emotional and we have to learn how to kill our flesh in this area. And I know I have to work really hard on this myself because not only do we have to encounter all the day-to-day -day situations, you know, and then your memories from your past, all the people who don't want to be around you anymore because you're serving God or people that you're not allowed to be associated with because they're claiming Christ and they're disobedient. If we keep looking backwards, that's the direction we're going to go. And us in this ministry, we come across not only just mockers, we get a lot of those, or we call them drive-by snipers or whatever. They're never, really not out for the things of God. They just want to cause harm for the truth of God that's going out there. And we do get our share of people who seem like they truly are seeking. And we try to be very careful not to allow our flesh to get too involved because we don't know if people are going to continue striving on or not. But it's, it's really hard, especially when you meet people who may have young children that they are blessed enough to share the things of God with, or a wife, a husband. However, it, it doesn't really matter who it is. We love all people. And then if we have time with them to get to know them and, and to watch them overcome some hurdles and trials, and we're like, yeah, we're you know trying to press them on. And Jim and I are always talking about people going, well, I wonder how we could encourage them more. Is there anything else we could do? Sharing scripture verses and time. And we'll just pour ourselves out for people because we love them. And we understand the trials that are out there and the, the things that people have to face. And we see it, having walked through a lot, we can see from what people share with us, we're going, okay, they got some big hurdles to come through and, and we're praying and we hope they do. And oftentimes people will get up to a certain point and they'll get to those hills, those trials, and Jim and I are praying for them. And oftentimes they'll just turn around and disappear. And it takes a chunk of our flesh with them. It, it really makes us sad. And we have to learn how to be stronger than that, me. Me especially, I gotta be careful that I don't share my flesh too much. What I have to do when it comes to memories, emotions, anything that makes me look backwards, I've got to cut it off. I've got to rip it out, pluck it out, whatever it is, pick it up and hand it over to God and I have to be good with that. And I must keep my face forward, keep my hand to the plow and not look back because I had, my, I had enough trials with that not too long ago and I was not fit for anything not to even mention the, the, the things of God. And I praise God he helped pull me through that. And I'm stronger on the other side. So I just want to encourage you, sisters, do not look back. You've got to keep your hand to the plow. Keep moving forward. Set your sights on Christ and what he's done in the hope of eternal life. And don't let anything get in between you and him, not husband, not children. Remember, we sisters are servants for the Lord. We were made as a help me to a husband, a mother to the children. But yet, if we focus on them and do everything we do for them, it becomes a flesh and a chore, a fleshly chore, I'm sorry. But if we put Christ in the front of us and we do it for him, if everything we do, it's the, we're going to do the same thing, but our mindset's different. You do it all for Christ, and it becomes a joy to serve those people. But if you're focused on the people and you're doing a, a service to them, sometimes it can become a chore. Maybe you can think about that and see if that might be true in your life. I know it was for me. So I always try to remember every day, like Jim tells everybody, preach the gospel to yourself. And that will recenter your mind and put Christ first before you. And then as you march through these trials, you're going to want to keep your face forward and not backwards. So I hope that's been an encouragement to you, sisters. Put your hand to the plow. Keep looking forward. Look neither left nor right. 
There's a scripture verse in the Old Testament. You can go look that one up. Have a joyous day, sisters. May God be praised.